that? What's the matter? I should put the whole sign right in front of my puss. Well, there's other people in the cast besides ourselves. I should put it in front of your face. Well, what is the difference? What, are you a high-class guy or something? They I mean, don't, don't put it in front of my face. I want to look at all the people out here. Oh, all right, they see enough of your face. What's that wrong with me? Well, let's get started with the show. Let's do some funny stuff. What funny stuff? You know, let's tell something. Well, we don't uh, we don't tell jokes. We, in fact, we have no jokes. We tell ru uh, ru routine minute, sort of uh, stories. And... We have no jokes. No, that's right. You're I was, right. I was telling you. But I have a joke. You, ha you have a what? I have a joke. Where'd you get it? I tell a joke. Where'd you get the joke? I wrote it myself. You wrote a joke? Brand new one. Wrote it yourself? Nobody's ever heard it before. Is it funny? It's clean. Uh, I don't mean that. Is it funny? <laughs> I think so. And it's brand new? Yes. You think the folks out there will like it? I think so. It's a, it's, it's a fish story. How long will it take to tell it? A couple of seconds. The only thing is, you ain't got nothing to say in it. You might as well get a chair and sit down because you don't open your mouth once through the whole thing. But it's funny. Very cute. And you wrote it. Yeah, but you keep your mouth shut. You don't get... You no. got nothing to say what's no, I don't have to say anything as long as you wrote it. It's about a whale, a ship, and Jonah. And it's funny. Yeah. And you wrote it. Yeah, now don't talk right. no more. Well, go ahead. Let's hear it. Let's now see don't say another word. No. As long okay. as it's funny. It's funny! And it's brand new. Now keep your mouth shut. Go ahead. Let's hear it. Once upon a time, there was a whale. What kind of a whale? <laughs> you see, that's what I mean. You got to keep your mouth shut. You ain't got oh. nothing to say in this. Well, all right, no, it's not you important. You don't have to ask me what kind of whale it is because I don't know what kind of whale it was. All right, let's forget about it. How do I know what kind of whale it is? Don't shout now. What do you think I do? Belong to whale gang or something? I know the whale's a higher whale. All right, shh. I asked you to keep your mouth shut tonight. Go ahead. Well, keep it shut. Now, this whale was in the ocean. What ocean? This so. What ocean? I think the folks would like to know where this took place, don't you think? Go ahead. Pick out an ocean what I care. That's immaterial to me. All right, the immaterial ocean. Oh, what kind of ocean? Now, the whale was in the immaterial ocean. It was minus on business, but it was following a ship. What ship? This ship. What ship? <laughs> what ship? I told you, you don't say nothing in the story. I do the whole story by myself. You're telling it, but I just... But you keep opening your mouth. Now, keep a shot. I only ask you what kind of a ship. A ship, a plain everyday ship that swims in the water. You mean a swim ship? Yeah. <laughs> now, the whale was following a swim ship because... Who ever heard of a swim ship? I don't know, Lou. That's your Will you story. Please, keep your mouth shut, will you please? All right, go ahead. You're getting me aggravated now. Take it easy, take it easy. Go ahead. Now, the ship was following the whale... What? Because... Now I got the ship following the, the whale. whale was following the, ship. <laughs> the whale was following the ship yeah. because the whale was hungry. Naturally. Now, Captain Jonah was the captain of the boat, and he didn't want the whale to capsize the boat. What? He didn't want the whale to capsize the boat. Capsize. So he, he didn't want the whale to capsize the boat. Capsize. So he... he, he because you know what capsize means. I don't put in big words like that if I don't know what it means. Plus, I don't know what it means. He didn't want the whale what to capsize. mean? Capsize. Capsize. That's a big word. Well, what does it mean? Good one. Well, what does it mean? Capsize. Capsize. Story should have been over. Well, what does it mean? Get it over with. Capsize. Capsize. Right. Seven and a quarter. Six All right. Six. right. <laughs> so he didn't want the whale to six or seven eighths the boat. Yeah. So what did he, he Captain Jonah was a brave man, so he threw the he threw the whale over a barrel of apples. What kind of apples? And, and just as soon as he, he, he What kind of apples? <laughs> I guess you're not tend to rub me. Well, what kind of apples? What, what's so harmful about that? I... Plain everyday apples. Well, apples there's... that grow out of trees. Well, there's all kinds of apples, Lou. There's Baldwin apples, there's frost apples. And... Crab apples! Well, tell the people. He's not being mad at you, right, folks. Take it easy, now. take it easy, take it easy. Come on now, get it over with. So the whale ate the, ate the apples. Now, Captain Jonah realized that the whale was still going to capsize the boat. Don't ask me again about that thing. All right. So when, he, when the whale ate the apples, he was still hungry. So then Captain Jonah threw him over a stool. What kind of stool? Who said that? Me, in case you ask. Oh, boy, it's a three-legged camp stool. So the whale ate the stool. Now, the whale ate the apples and the whale ate the stool, and the whale was still hungry. In other words, his appetite had not been appeased. Mm -hmm. And that's a pretty good word, too. All right, too. Well, go ahead. Let's hear the finish of this. So Captain Jonah, being a very brave man, he didn't want the whale to capsize the boat, and he wanted to save all the passengers mm -hmm. on the boat. So what did he do? I don't know. I'm going to tell you what he Just did. Keep quiet. Go ahead. He sacrificed himself. Yeah. He threw a beautiful jackknife dive right off the boat into the mouth of the whale. Mm -hmm. Now, the whale opened up his mouth and he swallowed Captain Jonah. He swallowed the apples and he uh, swallowed the stool. And then the whale wait, swam away. Wait a minute, Lou. Three years later, uh, they caught that very Lock same Lou. whale down here in the just, bay. Just a minute. And they cut him open. Wait, wait a minute, Lou. And what do you think they found? Wait a minute, just one minute. One more interruption. Now, he says something here, then I tell wait you the funny answer. One more interruption. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lou, you're not coming out here in front of this intelligent audience. Millions and millions of people listening and watching. 
You're not coming out and trying to get away with that old wheeze, that old pun about the time they, they caught the whale and they cut him open and there they found Jonah seated on that stool selling those apples three for a nickel, are you? That's not the story you intended to come out here and open up the show with. Now, wait a minute. Folks, I'm really sorry. I want to apologize. It couldn't be that story. Because every little schoolboy knows that story. That's right. And he said it was brand new. No one had ever heard about it. And... But I'm sorry. I apologize. Now, you go ahead and tell the folks what they found when they cut the wheel open. I say, tell the folks what they found when they cut the wheel open. You, you do know the answer, don't you? Hmm? Man, feel good? You know, I, I, I thought it was a build-up to that old wheeze, but it couldn't be that because every little schoolboy knows that joke. <laughs> Got the wheel open there, they found Jonas seated on the stool. I, Lou, Lou, uh, Lou, come here a minute now. We're not finished. I want you to tell the folks. public library? No, ma'am, lady. I don't know where the public library is. Oh, well, you go down two blocks and turn to the right, and then you go one block and turn to the left. At the first traffic signal, you... Now, now well, wait a minute, lady. I didn't ask you. You asked me. I asked you what? How to get to the public library. Oh, well, you go down two blocks and turn to the right, and then one block and turn to the left. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't care about going to the public library. Then why are you bothering people asking where it is? You've certainly got your nerve, you fat little potato. You're nothing but a mash. I'm a masher potato. Hey. What does she want? Masher potatoes. Mash uh, no, no, no. What, what, what is she asking? How do you get to the public library? Oh, well, you go down here two blocks, turn to the left, and you go down two blocks more, turn to the left. I didn't ask you. Well, I thought you did. Listen, don't make any noise. I've got to sneak in here and be careful of this landlord. You know, we owe him eight weeks back rent. <laughs> Somebody I hate. You have to flirt with every girl you meet. from the landlord. We don't want him to hear us. We got a lot of clothes in there. We got to get him out. Shh. Who are you? I'm the landlord. Get out of my rooming house. I'm sick and tired of you shiftless, lazy tramps living here for nothing. Just, just a minute, Mr. Landlord. Uh, you must have received my check in the mail for the rent. When did you mail it? Uh, oh, any day now? Any day now. <laughs> any day now. Uh, get out of my room. I'd like to see you do that again. Oh, uh, you uh, would, would you? Huh? <laughs> do that once more. Oh, now, listen, once I mean... more, huh? You think I can? <laughs> That's the mouth of your hand in this. Now, listen, mister. Yeah? This happened to be a pal of mine. Do you yeah. understand? You can't get away with things like that. I can't. And he can say what he wants. If he opens his mouth to me once more, I'll punch him in the nose. That I want to see. Oh, you do, huh? I'd like to see you do that. Oh, you would. Keep your mouth shut. You're always getting yourself in trouble. Now, don't ever do that again, brother. I'll, I'll take a hand in this. You thing. will, Just hey? Go ahead and do it again. Bring me out. You're pushing me in here. Bring me out. Now listen, Mr. Hey, 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 don't forget it. I got a report that a short little fat guy and a medium-sized sandy-haired guy were annoying women in the neighborhood. Well, I'm no short fat guy. And I'm no tall skinny fella. Well, must be two other guys. Mike, I'm glad you happened to come by. These two gentlemen owe me eight weeks back room rent. And I want you to take them down to the station and lock them up. Well, that sounds reasonable. All right, you guys, we're going to take a little walk down to the station house. Now, now wait a minute, officer. Just a minute, officer. This man's a taxpayer. Tell him, Lou. Don't take it. I'm T not going to take it, bud. Tell him. You put something in my head, and I'm going to put it in his. Tell him off. Now, listen, officer. Being a taxpayer like I am when I am working, it is my taxes that goes around and helps to pay all you cops' salaries. Is that not right? 
Well, I guess that's right. You bet you're darn tootin'. And it's my salary that helps to pay you your salary when I pay taxes. Is that not right? Right. In other words, you're working for some of the public. Is that right? And yes. when you sum it all down, I happen to be one of the public. Yeah. You are working for me. Yeah. You're fired. <laughs> Don't hurt me, officer. I may be a small citizen, but don't hurt me. If he locks us up, you won't get your rent. Is that right? Well, I guess that's right. Oh, well, figure it out. Well, if you boys had a job, would you go to work? He's always willing to work. All right, my brother needs some help. He runs a drugstore right around the corner. Here's the card. Okay? Certainly. Fine. Now, my boy, you could be a soda jerk. Now, put those words closer together, old boy. Thanks, Mr. Fields. Good. Okay. Thank you. Don't forget, I'm a taxpayer. Uh, you know, I never thought of that. Uh, now what? Don't be so gruesome. Now listen, officer. More about taxpaying. I want to tell you something. Is it not true that you are a servant of the public? Yes, I'm a servant of the public. I happen to be one of the public. Yes, you're one of the public. Then you are nothing but a public servant. Yes, I'm a public servant. Give me a glass of water. Right. <laughs> How dare you remind me of somebody I hate? <laughs> But it was all in fun. <laughs> and we got the job at the drugstore. By the way, do you know anything about drugs? I know everything about drugs. You do? Yeah, when I was a little boy, my mother drugged me from Patterson, New Jersey, over to New York. And drugged me from New York back to Patterson. In fact, she drugged me all over. Well, I'm going to drug you right down to the drugstore and get you this job. Come on. My best game. What are you button in? Hey, now you wait out here. I'm going to set this job for you and behave yourself. Hold this for me. Don't lick it. Just hold it. I was going to hold it. I mean, you don't think it's so so rough. I'll, I'll, I'll smack it on your face. Ow! <laughs> Picking on a little boy like I'm that. A, ooh! Hey, but, 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 it's me! Listen, it's only a little boy. I you broke my sucker. All right, all right. All right. We'll hey, buy I, he knocked me down, son. I'm hey. broke. We'll buy a new sucker. Wait a minute. They only cost a nickel. Well, then. All right, all right, all right. Don't be excited, <laughs> sonny. Uh, you got any change on you? Hurry up. Hurry up! There you are. There's your nickel. Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah, all right. See, he's a nightmare. He's gonna get me a new sucker. What are you gonna do with the old one? Give it to you. Come on. Get up on your feet. Come on, I've got the job all set for you. Get my hat. How do you do? Oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No. Stop wasting time. Gypsy. Well, put something in. What are you telling? Sure. Okay. Oh, thank you, sir. But this I tell your fortune. Let me see your hand. Oh, look, let's stop fooling around. I got the job all set for you. Wait, wait, ma'am. I may get a better job than this. Oh, this is amazing. Uh, well, what's wrong? Uh, this line here tell me that when this, uh, this boy reaches the age of 35, he will inherit six million dollars. A multiple millionaire. Six million dollars. I got loads of dough. I don't even know what to do with it. My partner. And don't forget. Three million for me and three million to you. Okay, kid. Ooh, what money. Oh, uh, uh, oh, just a minute. Well, what's wrong? Uh, uh, this line here tells me that when he reaches the age of 36, he will be penniless and broke. Broke? Huh? Broke? What did you do with that money? I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> I 
just wandering my dough, eh? That's a fine how do you do in one year's time. You're, you're wasting all that money. I didn't even have the money yet, buddy. Buddy, I didn't even... Throw it around the street. Let's get the job, buddy. Uh, buddy. Let's get the job. Come on, get in there. Get that job. There you are, Mr. Fields. And you will never regret hiring such an industrious, ambitious, hard-working young man. And while we're talking about hiring people, Mr. Rabbit, how would you like to be my head salesman? You're going to make him the head salesman? Why? Anybody who can talk me into hiring a hopeless, brainless, misfit like you, he must be a great salesman. He's got something there. No. And young man, I hope you won't have any fancy ideas like the last boy I fired. He wanted another day off. Uh, when did he have his last one? In 1947. 1947? Yes. What, you think this is a playground? Uh, Mr. Rabbit, as my head salesman, you'll also be my assistant manager. Now, I want you to keep this boy on his toes. Huh, I should say so, and on your toes you're going. Okay. Now, uh, sweep up the floor, clean up that counter, dust those showcases, wash the windows, and get back to that counter and stay there. I'm going to show you how a real assistant manager operates. You're the assistant manager? Yes. The manager must be a louse. I... <laughs> Are you following me? I no, sir. Are you the druggist? Oh, I can't sleep. I haven't slept for days. I haven't slept for weeks. Been walking around for the past two weeks. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I'm nervous. See? What'll I do? What'll I do? Why don't you go to bed? Gee, thanks loads. Bye now. I feel better already. Thank you. Hey, Tommy, hey, how about some service? What can I do for you kids? We want candy! Okay, quiet. Candy. Uh, candy's up high. Hold it. What kind of candy do you want? I want five cents worth of licorice. What? Licorice. Licorice. Don't you even understand English? Licorice. Five cents worth of licorice. Yeah. Now, what do you want? I want five cents worth of licorice. Tell me when I was up there. There you are. Now, would you like five cents for a liquid? Oh, no, you don't. I, the boss told me to get behind the fountain. Excuse me, Curly. How do you do? Oh, sloppy. I'm sorry. Hello, Chubby. How do you do? What can you do for me? I, I mean, what can I do for you? Well, what's your specialty today? Necking. Necking? Why, I'm surprised at you. You look like the studious type to me. I am. I'm always thinking. Thinking about what? Necking. May I make you a nice hot fudge sundae? Good heavens, no. I have to watch my figure. 
that makes two of us. Why don't you wait on them while I make up my mind? Yes, ma'am. Excuse me. Oh, it's you. Yes, it's me. Now look, you up. I'm gonna pat you. I told you not to bite strangers' fingers. Do you want to get blood poisoning or something? Oh, I'm sorry. Fix my little boy a big dose of castor oil mixed in a Coke. Oh, gee, Mom, not that. Castor oil, huh? Mixed in a Coke. Why don't you like castor oil mixed in a Coke? I just don't like it. I'm always getting it. Always making me drink castor oil mixed with chocolate syrup, mixed with grapefruit juice, and mixed with pineapple juice. I Making me sick, sick, sick. What's wrong with that? I just like plain castor oil. Mm. Mm. I like it plain. You want some? Up your mind yet? Yes, I've decided to go off my diet. I want a double chocolate fudge sundae with gobs and gobs of whipped cream. You like whipped cream? Uh huh. I'm gonna put on so much whipped cream that maybe you'll give me a kiss? Sure. The more whipped cream, the bigger the kiss. Yeah? <laughs> What's the idea of the dark glasses? I'm gonna pile the whipped cream on so big I'm apt to get snow blind. <laughs> You know, you look just as beautiful with the glasses on. You're much prettier, though, with them off. You know, I... How about an egg sandwich? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I'll get you an egg sandwich. <laughs> hey, Abbott, let me have an egg. Would you mind if it was scrambled? Never mind the egg sandwich. I'll have a plate of vanilla ice cream. Yes, sir. Plate of vanilla ice cream. Hey, yeah, sir. Fifteen cents, please. Fifteen cents for that? Yes, sir. One scoop? Uh-huh. Most places give two scoops for fifteen cents. Well, over here, we only give one scoop for fifteen cents. Oh, you're one of those cheap guys, huh? One scoop for fifteen cents. I don't care about the money. No, I'll show you. I'll throw the money away. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Just a minute, I mean... Uh, I don't care about money. I'll throw it away. Well, what do you think? We care about the ice cream? I don't care about the ice cream. Oh. I mean, I know you're going to get one scoop and that's all. One of those guys. Well, it isn't the money with me. It's just the principle. I'll throw more money away. I don't care about the money. Look, one scoop if we ice. wanted to give you two scoops, we could give you two scoops. But it's the principle of the thing, so I can only give you one scoop. And one scoop. One scoop for 15 cents, huh? Well, I'm going to show you something. I don't care about money at all. Hey, I'll throw everything away. What do you think? I care about the ice cream. It's a principle. principle. What are you doing, Lou? I don't care about it. What's the idea of eating on the job? Four. <laughs> Who's eating? I'm not blind. You don't want it? No, I don't want it. Then take your business someplace else. All right. No. Go ahead. Cheapskate. You, you're fired. Look what you've done to my drugstore. Let's get you've out ruined out. my entire business, you no, no, imbecile, so you long. idiot. Right. Get out of my drugstore. Don't get, get out of here. Don't get so I'll right. call the cop on the beat and have you locked up. Now look, Abbott, I've stood for enough. Now you've handled it. Now I'm going to handle this from here in. Now I've go had on. enough of this. Now you going around calling the cop on a beat. You go ahead, Mr. Field, and call the cop on a beat. What I can... Abbott, I'll take care of this. Go on. That flat foot. I would like to hold off and really let him have it. Hold that coat, Abbott. I want to get it on. Thank you. And another thing. If I ever get my hands on that cop, I'll let him have it so much. I'll take this club and, and I'll, 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 I'll take it. 